Angelica Houston, born July 8, 1951, is an American actress, director and former fashion model. Houston became the third generation of her family to win an Academy Award, when she won Best Supporting Actress for her performance in 1985's Prizzy's Honor, joining her father, director John Houston, and grandfather, actor Walter Houston. She also received Academy Award nominations for Enemies, A Love Story, 1989, and The Grifters, 1990. Houston received British Academy Award nominations for her work in the Woody Allen films Crimes and Misdemeanors, 1989, and Manhattan Murder Mystery, 1993. Among her other roles, she starred as Morticia Adams in The Adams Family, 1991, and Adams Family Values, 1993, receiving Golden Globe nominations for both, and played the Grand High Witch in the children's movie The Witches, 1990. She has frequently collaborated with director Wes Anderson, including The Royal Tenenbaums, 2001, and The Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou, 2004. She is also the author of two memoirs, A Story Lately Told and Watch Me. Early Life Angelica Houston was born in Santa Monica, California, and is the daughter of director and actor John Houston and Italian-American prima ballerina and model Enrica Soma. Houston's paternal grandfather was Canadian-born actor Walter Houston. Houston has Scots-Irish, English and Welsh ancestry from her father. She spent much of her childhood in Ireland particularly near Crowell, County Galway, and England, where she attended Holland Park School. In the late 1960s, she began taking a few small roles in her father's movies. She started very small indeed, substituting her hands for Deborah Kerr's in the British Casino Royale and advanced to bigger roles in 1969, starring, for example, in A Walk with Love and Death, where she played the 16-year-old French noblewoman Claudia. In the same year, her mother, who was 39 years old, died in a car accident, and Angelica relocated to the U.S., where she modeled for several years. While she modeled, she worked with photographers such as Richard of Eden and Bob Richardson. Houston has an older brother, Tony, a younger maternal half-sister named Allegra, whom she called Legs, a younger paternal half-brother, actor Danny Houston, and an adopted older brother, Pablo. She is the aunt of Boardwalk Empire actor Jack Houston. Career. Acting career. Deciding to focus more on movies, in the early 1980s she studied acting. Her first notable role was in Bob Raffleson's remake of The Postman Always Rings Twice, 1981. Later, her father cast her as Marrows, daughter of a mafia don whose love is scorned by a hitman, Jack Nicholson, in the film adaptation of Richard Condon's mafia satire novel Prizzy's Honor, 1985. Houston won the Best Supporting Actress Oscar for her performance, making her the first person in Academy Award history to win an Oscar when a parent and a grandparent had also won one. Houston earned a Best Actress Oscar nomination for her portrayal of a con artist in Stephen Frears' The Grifters, 1990. She also starred as the lead in her father's final directorial film, The Dead, 1987, an adaptation of a James Joyce story. She was then cast as Morticia Adams, in the hugely successful 1991 movie adaptation of The Adams Family. In 1993, she reprised the role for the sequel Adams Family Values. Angelica also starred in the 1998 Hollywood blockbuster, Ever After, a Cinderella story alongside Drew Barrymore and Melanie Linsky as the Baroness Rod Milla de she starred in two Wes Anderson films, The Royal Tenenbaums, 2001, and The Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou, 2004, as well as appearing in a minor role in 2007's The Darjeeling Limited. She voiced the role of Queen Clarion in the Disney Fairies film series starring Tinker Bell. On January 22, 2010, Houston was honored on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. In 2011, Houston was in the film Horrid Henry, the movie. Houston later appeared on the NBC television series, Smash, portraying Broadway producer Eileen Rand. Directing career Houston has recently expanded her horizons, following in her father's footsteps in the director's chair. Her first directorial credit was Bastard Out of Carolina, 1996, followed by Agnes Brown, 1999, in which she both directed and starred, and then Riding the Bus with My Sister, 2005 political activism. In November 2007, Houston led a letter campaign organized by the U.S. Campaign for Burma and Human Rights Action Center. The letter, signed by over 25 high-profile individuals from the entertainment business, was addressed to the United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon and urged him to personally intervene to secure the release of Nobel Peace Prize recipient Aung San Suu Kyi of Burma. Houston's biggest donation has been a yearly commitment to Transgender Law Center for over a decade. TLC has a growing number of locations throughout California. In December 2012, Houston recorded a public service announcement for PETA, urging her colleagues in Hollywood to refrain from using great apes
clips in television, movies and advertisements. Later, the animal rights organization named her their Person of the Year 2012. Personal Life In 1969, at age 18, Houston began dating photographer Bob Richardson who was 23 years her senior. Their relationship lasted almost four years. She met Jack Nicholson in 1973 and they lived together, on and off, from that year until 1990, when the media reported he had fathered a child with Rebecca Broussard. She was briefly involved in a relationship with Ryan O'Neill during one of her separations from Nicholson in the late 1970s. On May 23, 1992, Houston married sculptor Robert Graham. The couple lived in a five-story house designed by Graham at 69 Windward Avenue in Venice, California, until his death on December 27, 2008. They did not have any children. Huston's home went on the market for $18 million in 2010, but initially failed to sell. In September 2012, the New York Post reported that Houston was planning to transform her house into a private social club. The actress was said to have accepted $12 million for the property and to serve on the advisory board for a new private club to be based there. In April 2014, Houston sold the house for $11.15 million. Houston was close friends with actor Gregory Peck, whom her father directed in Moby Dick, 1956. The two of them first met on the set of the film when she was four years old as Peck was in costume as Captain Ahab. Decades later, after her father's death, Houston reunited with Peck and maintained a friendship that lasted until his death. Houston wrote her memoirs as one 900-page book. She split it into two books at her publisher's urging. Filmography. Film. Television, awards and nominations. 